Earlier in 2018, the very progressive Switzerland made it illegal to boil lobsters alive, which I might add is already illegal in the very progressive New Zealand. I bet you didn't know that one. I'm Dr. Kate from Bondi Vet and these new laws in Switzerland and in New Zealand mean that lobsters have to be knocked out or stunned before they're put into boiling water. They're also no longer able to be transported in icy, icy cold waters while still being alive, that is. This is a really interesting one. It means that we have to ask ourselves about the pain perception of a crustacean, which also requires us to consider animals that we've traditionally only thought of as food as actual living, feeling beings. So do lobsters actually feel pain? This is one that divides the international scientific community, with some experts saying, nope, definitely not possible. They have brains like insects and they don't have the brain power to actually perceive pain. Others on the other hand believe this is completely false and that all the evidence actually suggests that of course crustaceans, including crabs and lo lobsters, perceive pain. They did some experiments. Crabs, they actually presented them with two shelters, one which emitted a painful shock and the other one which didn't. Consistently, those crabs chose the non-shocky shelters, consistent with the idea that potentially these guys feel some pain. I think it's kind of safe to say here that we don't really know. However, the shadow of a doubt surely leads the civilized society to err on the side of civilized and consider that perhaps it's possible they do feel pain and perhaps we shouldn't be dropping them in boiling hot water alive. I mean, it's a little barbaric when you kind of think about it. So what about Australia here? Well, actually the Western Australian government is currently considering a similar ban. However, no word yet from the other states. So while it's not yet illegal in Australia, next time that you're at a restaurant and you're planning on having lobster or you're at home and you're planning on having lobster, might be an idea to just please ask for a humane death for your lobster. And that is it for me signing off, Dr. Kate. Poor old lobsters.